Hi folks, Dr. Ed Beyer. Today we're, talk we're talking about autoimmune disease and the role of vitamin D in autoimmune disease. In 1997, uh, they, they discovered how to test for vitamin D through blood work and most doctors will check for it. And it you know, some of them do, some of them don't, but we always do. Um, and we discovered that since we've been able to test for vitamin D, it's the number one vitamin deficiency in the United States, especially if you're dark complected, come from African American descent or Hispanic descent because you're not able to get the vitamin D from sunshine. Now, vitamin D is a major, major player in our immune system. What happens in an autoimmune disease is that we have two different types of cells in our immune system. One of them is called Th1 cells. These are the cells that will kill things through chemicals. And the other set of cells are the Th2 cells. These cells form what are known as antibodies or immunoglobulins to tag a tissue so these cells can come and destroy it. Antibodies don't kill the, kill the tissue itself or the, the uh, intruder or a germ. These guys do, but these will signal these guys to come. Now you can imagine these cells need to be able to communicate with each other and that is done by way of another set of cells in our immune system called regulatory T cells or regulatory T lymphocytes. These cells are like the generals in an army. They tell which troops to go and which troops to hold back. Now in all autoimmune disease, I don't care what it is, what type of autoimmune disease you have, these cells are failing. And what will happen is these cells are not able to communicate with each other and one cell will become overzealous, the type of cells will become overzealous versus the other side. This would be like a Th1 dominant type autoimmune condition and, if, and this would be, if this was down, it would be a Th2 dominant. In functional medicine, we want to know which side is, is, is being overzealous and which side isn't. But we do know that in all autoimmune diseases, these regulatory T cells need to be, they're, they're dysfunctional. They're not functioning like they should. One of the things these cells need is a lot of vitamin D in order for them to be able to work. If you suspect that you have an autoimmune condition or you know you have an autoimmune condition, your vitamin D does not work a 40 hour week. It works an 80 hour week. And you gotta make sure that your levels are always high. So not too high, but high within normal. So it's important that you understand that we like our patients with autoimmune disease to have vitamin D levels at 80 to 100. That's what you need for these cells to work properly in, that, in an autoimmune disease. Now, most labs will say between 30 and 100, and your doctor may not say there's a problem unless you get below 30. But if you're autoimmune, 80. And there's two different forms of vitamin D that your doctor should be checking for. Both forms should be between 80 and 100. I'm Dr. Ed Beyer. Hope that helps. Have a great day.